Hey besties, it's your girl Jenny, and today we're talking all about what's new in my closet shoes version. So I already went ahead and uploaded last week a haul of all of my new clothes for the spring and the summer, but this time I figured I'd do one for the shoes. So I have a bunch of neutral heels that are about $100 to $200 as well as a loafer that I think is going to be perfect for the spring and summer. So these are just a couple of essentials that I gathered up that are going to be perfect for this season and the next. Without further ado, what's new in my shoe closet for the spring and the summer? So I'm going to go ahead and start off with these shoes from Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita actually sent me over these two shoes, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. This one is their beige heel, and this is about a 3 inch heel, as you guys can see. But I really like that it's super neutral and just goes with everything, as well as it's super comfortable. And it's just like that little string hold on these. But the fact that these are super comfortable, even at a 3 inch, I feel like it's just super worth your money, especially because of the little snake print design on the heel. It makes it a little bit different, as well as just super comfortable. Every single shoes in this haul is going to be comfortable. Honestly, if I don't have comfortable shoes and I just have a miserable day, so I always try to make sure I have comfortable shoes and I've been wearing these Dolce Vita ones for the longest time. I have next another one from Dolce Vita. By the way, all of these are going to be in the description box down below as well as the prices and the direct links. But this one, um, I really like it because it's a two-tone set if you guys can't tell. Um, this one also has like that little snake print. Um, reptile print strap as well as like the one inch heel one or two inch heel um, it just makes it slightly more different but this heel is still neutral because it is a black one and it just goes with everything as well as you know it just gives you a little bit of a different type of shoe heel look just because it has the two tone straps here but it's not like different strap color so it's still a black shoe and this is perfect as well as being super comfortable these are actually a little more comfortable than the beige ones just because all of Dolce Vita shoes are really cushiony so you're not gonna hurt when you wear them out for a long time Next, we have a couple of shoes from Naturalizer. So this one is their beige nude heel, similar to the Dolce Vita one that I got a couple of months ago. This one is super comfy and I was super impressed with this because I was actually in New York and in New York, I never wear heels just because I have to walk around so much. And I actually wore these out for like half a day and my feet were fine. Like I was walking around everywhere in Manhattan and my feet were still okay. And I think it's because naturalizer shoes are like really, really comfortable. I think they're slightly even more comfortable than the Dolce Vita ones as well as a little more affordable. But these are the beige ones. I actually ended up getting the same white one and naturalizer also sent me these as well. But I just wanted to share with you guys how comfortable some um, basic heels are. I feel like these white ones go with anything during this season especially as the spring is in full force and the summer is coming. You can never have enough white shoes so I thought this white one this white heel would be perfect for the springtime as well as going into the summer. And for something a little more different, I have these gold naturalizer heels. Um, I think these are super cute and different, a little bit more different than these neutral heels I keep showing you, but still neutral. I actually have a habit of wearing neutral shoes, so I only really get neutral tan white black color shoes, maybe gray because I feel like it's just super easy to wear with everything and since I wear some color on the top most of the time, I feel like I just need to offset it with a neutral shoe. But I feel like this one is a little bit more different just because it has like the rhinestones that are a bit gold. I guess the rhinestones are silver but then the whole shoe kind of looks like a rosy gold because of it. And I feel like it would be a nice shoe to like wear when I'm dressed up, the heel is like only two inches, so it will still be like a casual look. Um, these are just super comfortable as well. Very good cushion. Um, this fabric, the shoe is a little bit different from everything else because it's not actually leather. It's more of a suede texture, so that's the difference. But I can't wait to wear this all spring and summer long, especially when I go on like my dates. These shoes are going to be what I'm wearing. So my final shoe for this haul um, is going to be these loafers I got from John Joseph. These shoes are actually made in 
Spain. These are a new brand that I just came in contact with. They also sent me these pair as well. This is about $180 and for some loafers, I feel like these loafers are a little bit different than every other loafer I've seen. This one gives me a Doc Martin feel because of the seams right here. And it's just really sturdy and I feel like just having a black loafer is an essential in the closet. I don't know why I haven't had one in so long but then these loafers are it. So if you guys are looking for like a really high quality loafer that's slightly more different than everyone else's and also gives you like the seams, I really recommend getting this one. This one is super high quality, you can tell it's really thick. At first, it was a little difficult to um, keep my foot in it all the time because it was really hard because it is actual leather. Just wear it enough and it gets comfortable. But I feel like these shoes are gonna be this perfect addition to my spring and summer closet. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this short shoe haul. Um, these are just some of my favorite heels and sandals that I picked up for the spring and the summer. I do think I need a little bit more sandals, but sandals are more, in my opinion, summer-like, so we'll get those later. But yeah, this has been my top shoes, heels, loafers choices for the spring. So if you guys have any more questions, um, please let me know down in the comments below, as well as my DMs will always be open. So yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!